Children will miss a total of 23 million days of school this year alone because of the cold season. Parents then miss work either to stay home with a sick child or because they have become ill too. When that is factored into missed work days, the numbers are astronomical. 80% of all infections are transmitted by contact, both direct like shaking hands and indirect by touching something that is contaminated like a toy, doorknob, or computer keyboard. Hand washing breaks that chain of infection. It won't eliminate the germs from your environment, but it will greatly reduce the risk of infection. Wash your hands after work or school, before you eat or drink, after using the restroom, before and after food preparation, after you pet your dog or cat. Liquid soap is recommended over bar soap because the bar soap can actually retain the germs left over from the last user. Soap doesn't kill the germs, it just washes them away. The recommended time to wash hands is 20 seconds. Washing your hands includes washing not only the palm, but the back of your hands, and between the fingers too. A nail brush is also a good tool to rid your fingers of germs under the nail. If you can't get to a sink and some soap, there are several products that can be used as temporary substitutes. Wet wipes and alcohol-based hand cleaning gels are a good backup. Antibacterial cleaning wipes can also aid in reducing the germ transfers. Wiping down doorknobs, keyboards, cabinet doors, light switch plates, and even refrigerator handles or microwave latches can help you stay healthy. But the number one germ transfer deterrent is still, and probably always will be, the good old-fashioned hand washing with soap and water.